Well, I'm just doing my work. I don't think you are, James. I think that your computer might have had a little, a terrible tumble a second ago, didn't it? What happened to your computer, James? James is maybe the whiniest scammer I've ever spoken to. Why don't you allow me to say something? Give me a chance to say something, ma'am. This is probably the most abusive that Neld has been towards a scammer. Take a deep breath, take a yeah, glass obviously. of water, and, and speak nicely and kindly and do your f***ing job. At the end of a long call, I thought he was gone. But the next day he called me back for more. I very quickly took access of his computer and executed MEMS virus as you saw in the intro of the video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe and like the video, and we'll see you next time. What is Coinbase? Okay, ma'am, uh, the point is, uh, we are trying to Who put is the money back in your account. Hello? Who is this? Ma'am, my name is James. You sound Why like a different Amazon? guy, James. You sound different from the other James. I don't do oh, Coinbase. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what this is. I don't want to do it. Ma'am, listen, listen, listen. No. The point is, Answer is no. Uh, this is sorry the way about you. This is the way. Sorry about you. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Not going to happen. Ma'am, this is only and the also, way And also, shut up. Also, who is this uh, Helen Cluck? Who is that? Ma'am, who is that? To me, what I'm saying. Who is Helen Cluck? Ma'am, uh, this is uh, the duplicate name. This is a second profile based on your name, uh, through which we are requesting this money. So you are just requesting the you money. You haven't requested server. any money uh, we yet. Cannot put this you, money back you haven't in your done anything. Account. You tried so to. You tried right here to do four hundred ninety-eight dollars. I saw, but you didn't. You never. But, you never transferred it. And by the yeah, way, why are you doing that? 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 We are refunding the money, ma'am. Take me off a speakerphone, you idiot. Hello? Yeah, leave me off of your speakerphone, you absolute moron. Ma'am, we are refunding this money. No, you didn't refund it. You transferred it. You transferred money from my no. account. No, ma'am. Yes, you did, you idiot. If you want, ma'am, see, uh, the balance is uh, the same only. Uh, the one it was previous. What? You can see the balance, ma'am. It is still the same. See. Uh, you need to answer my question, sir. I, I, I have some simple questions, and I'd appreciate if you would just answer the question. Yes, ma'am. Ask me the question. What do you want to ask? Exactly, exactly what is the reason for you to transfer $498 out of my... Look, it says fraudulent, you moron. What is this? I don't know, ma'am. What what are you you just did okay. this? You just did this, you idiot. No, I, this is not a way where we can uh, put this money back. Okay. We just you you just do one thing, Lord ma'am. Just click on sign out. Just go from here. Just click on sign out. What are you doing? Nothing, ma'am. Just click on sign out. Sir, I want you to, uh, get sir out of this, uh, this is fraudulent thing. here, sir. And that, that this is a an a, something that you charged. You did this. No. Why is it marked as fraudulent, sir? Ma'am, these are the criminals who are doing this. You, I, didn't visit, visit, I just saw you do it. You just sent this money from this, uh, from my account to this email address for four. I literally watched you do it. You're telling me a criminal did that? Obviously, ma'am, because they are also active on your devices. Well, if a criminal did it, you're... then you're a criminal because I watched you do it. I watched you do it, sir. Ma'am, listen to me. My only way to put this money back in your account is through Coinbase because uh, they have hacked your bank account. I don't as do well, Coinbase, and sir. I cannot take. Ma'am, you don't need to do anything. You just need to make your account. I will not make my account. Do, uh, I will not make a Coinbase account. Forget about it. Okay, what do you want to make? I don't want to make an account. I, d I want my money. Give me my money back, you idiot. You want your money. That's I want my money. You, Shut up. I want my money the own, plus well, the $498 you just tried to steal. Go ahead and tally it up. Add it up. Get the calculator out.
Oh, okay, now you owe me $815.62. No, ma'am, this is not true. You see it's spending. What? You see the pending. It's spending. It's, it's fraudulent, sir. Look. Where? Fraudulent. Still no. says fra Am I talking to somebody different? Am I talking to a different per Am I having to repeat myself for no reason? Ma'am, listen. Uh, you listen. You, need to, uh, you don't know what the heck you're doing Sign up from this. Just sign up from here and just open your Coinbase account. I don't have a Coinbase account. And I'm not going to make one either. Forget it. Ma'am, do, the do only you have reason, a better uh, idea? Do you have a better idea? Okay. Uh, let me think. Why don't I okay, just uh, transfer the money to you? I'll go down to my bank and I'll transfer you. Or I can si I can send you the... I, I, listen, I don't know what you need from me. I don't know what this is about me having to create a duplicate or something. I don't know what that's about. But let's figure out a way to do it that doesn't involve a stupid fraudulent charge on my bank account. Okay, let me ask you one thing, ma'am. Do you hold any cryptocurrency? No, I'm 80 years old. I don't do the cryptocurrency. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. not going to do the Coinbase. I am sorry, ma'am. It's See, okay. Let me tell you one thing, ma'am. It's okay, but listen, I you got to wise up, listen, kiddo. Listen to me carefully. Because I, I don't want you, personally, okay. I'm, I'm honestly sick of this nonsense. Ma'am, see, I don't want your money, okay, and you are not putting your money in Coinbase. Now just think once, why are we making your account? Just think once. The only reason is... You will not make, your make me a Coinbase account. Not going to happen. Something else. We Mom, can, why do you scare? We can, we can figure out a way. Because oh, if you really want me to break it down for you, uh, honestly, I think the Bitcoin and the, and the, the crypto, that's a, that's a mark of the beast. It's one of the many marks of the beast that are uh, a precursor to the second coming of, of Jesus Christ. Uh, but the, the, the demons are about, the devil is out there, and he is in the bite coin. And I am, I am I not going to do it. I don't get it, it ma'am. What are you saying? I, I, have, are you saying, I have religious beliefs. I, do, I think that the cryptocurrency is the devil, and I will not be using any cryptocurrency. And I will not get a Coinbase account, and I will not do any of that. We can find a better way to do it. I can go to my bank. Why don't I just go to my bank and transfer the money that way? Uh, in that case, ma'am, uh, you see, you're requesting us, and it's uh, getting fraudulent. You see, we did that before. Well, if I go down to my branch store, how could it be marked as fraudulent there? I'll just go to the branch. Would that be easier? I could just go in there and transfer the money that way. Ma'am, let me tell you one thing. See, uh, to be very honest, I know you have no choice else uh, believe in me. So to be honest, ma'am, I no. am uh, not from your bank. We're okay, not doing the coin base. I know. Forget it. No, you don't need to do it, ma'am. And just by the way, it, sir, by the it. way, let me remind you that the initial person I spoke uh -huh. to, Mr. Jacob, he patched me in. Yeah. He patched me into who I thought was Bank of America, and you came on the phone. So you, according to Jacob, are Bank of America anyway. So you should have an, an idea about what's going on here. So... Now listen to me very carefully, ma'am. Did you hear what I said, See, or are you just going to ignore me? Did you hear what I said, or are you just going to ignore me? I am calling me? you. Did you hear what listen, I said, or are you going to ignore me? No, I, I, I heard what he said. I heard it, ma'am. Now listen to me carefully. See, my name is James Patterson, and my batch employment ID number is B like boy, O like Oscar, A like apple. I work for the headquarters branch of the Bank of America, okay, and I was actually pretending to be Amazon uh, agent from last 15-20 minutes. What? Because just for a verification, ma'am. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Go back just a second. 
You said that you were pretending to be from the Bank of America for the past 15 or 20 minutes. No, 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 ma'am. I am from Bank of America. I was actually taking your verification test. Why were you Some pretending different, different to be tests. the Amazon? Why were you doing that? Because, ma'am, your accounts are hacked from criminals. Now I need to verify some few steps. Okay, now listen to me carefully for the next four minutes. Okay, I want to say something. So, to be very honest, ma'am, these criminals have attacked your accounts. Okay, and they are almost try to charge almost about seventeen thousand dollars on your regular chicken account okay and this is a pre-approved transaction and it is uh, approved from your devices now uh, let me clear one thing ma'am uh, there is a company named ncb graphics okay and this is a fraudulent company i'm sure you never heard this uh, name before okay what this is a moscow based company uh, there is a company named ncb graphics it is a criminal company, a fraudulent company, Who, a Moscow-based exactly company. Exactly what is happening oh. here, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm telling you, ma'am. What on earth I, I'm are you me, talking so about are, here, the, sir? There are two fraudulent transactions on your regular checking account. Okay. Uh, one is at 7.30 and one is at 9.30 a.m. I'll tell you both of them one by one. So the first transaction what? that I'm talking about is... Hold up. Uh, given, this, this whole thing is switched mm -hmm. up. What does any of this have to do with my refund? Yeah, um, it doesn't, that does not make do any sense, mister. First, we need to save the money, ma'am. What? Hello? Ma'am, first, we need to save the money because the criminals that I'm talking about, the NCB graphics, it's a Moscow-based company. They made some transactions from your regular chicken account. And they pre-approved these transactions at, because they are active on your devices, like your cell phones, laptop, desktops, computer, internet settings, your driver's license, your social security, and your personal stuff. And how they got active, ma'am, because uh, the help of your Amazon account. Now I'll uh, give you some information and then you will be able to understand everything. So Amazon people told me that uh, Miss uh, Harris is a victim of some criminal attacks okay and when i checked in your accounts so i saw that there is a company named ncb graphics it is a criminal company and the company is trying to charge you fraudulently on your regular chicken account for almost seventeen thousand dollars and they pre-approve these transactions now ma'am tell me what one thing what do you know about a pre-approved transaction do you have any information about it do you know what is it or shall I explain you? Um, actually, I, I've got a better idea. Mm -hmm. I've got a better idea. Yeah. Um, okay. You can explain to me what any of this has to do with anything, and then we can proceed from there. But as far as I'm concerned, sure. this but is just first, all just a bunch of extraneous uh, information let me just explain here, you sir. What just uh, let you know. Just you know, uh, just. You know, okay. uh, when I think minute, about it, I think to myself, me, well, I called you a moment ago. Let me tell you what and I'm pretty you, uh, is. were telling me so, there was a problem and that I had to get a refund, and I understood that, okay? And then you had me uh, uh, log into my bank a couple thing, times. Now we need you to save your me money. Okay. do a that couple more important. things, and uh, at some listen, point listen, I had listen. to You're... log into my bank. And from there, your Would team there tried to transfer. Uh, team tried to transfer now, out to from yourself uh, somewhere or, around uh, four hundred and thirty-seven. Sorry, four hundred and seventeen dollars and sixty-two cents, and then four ninety-eight dollars. Ma'am. So, I why don't I don't know what me, any of those really have to do why, with one another. Why are you not listening to me, ma'am? Do you know what I mean? Listen uh, does to it, me, Does that make sense, sir? Does that make sense? Do you want to save your seventeen thousand dollars or not? Tell me this thing first. Seventeen thousand dollars. Oh, money? excuse me. It keeps on going up. It was three seventeen, then it was four ninety eight. That's a pretty large no, leap. No, ma'am, that was seventeen thousand dollars. What does that have to do with anything, sir? Ma'am, will you listen to me? What does this seventeen thousand yes dollars no? have to do with anything, sir? Will you listen to me? 
Are you listening Will me? Will you listen to me? Are you listening me to me Are right now? Are you gonna listen to me? Listen up. No, I'm asking you. I want to know what does seventeen thousand so dollars have to do with it? Will you allow me to say something? Yeah, that's nice. Now, uh, what does seventeen thousand dollars have to do with anything, sir? I am telling you, ma'am. Why don't you stop? Well, because you, you need to I'm explain. You need to explain me. I, I am doing it, ma'am. Give me a chance. I, I'm doing it. So, $17, well, it doesn't $1, seem like you're doing it. It just seems like you're just saying <laughs> random things to me, and I don't, I don't know. Will you allow me to say something, ma'am? Well, of course I would, but what what comes out of your mouth okay. needs to be intelligible. Sure, obviously, ma'am. I'll, I'll well, do it. It's not obvious so because 17... uh, you know you you. Uh, Every time you say something, hello, hello. Okay, the seven, yeah, seventeen thousand oh, dollars. Excuse me, that I, I'm talking uh, about. I didn't. You didn't let me finish, and you just were using some. You, what, what did you say just now? I heard you say something. Before that, you said something, and in a very frustrated and upset tone, you said something in a language I didn't understand. What What did you say? Ma'am, listen to me very uh, carefully. Shut up and answer my Your... question. What did you say a second ago? <laughs> Hello? Uh, who, is, uh, who is this? Ma'am, my name is James and I'm calling you from the Bank of America. Your $17,000 is on a toss. We need to save the money, ma'am. Why don't you allow me to say something? Give me a chance to say something, ma'am. Okay, the first thing you're going to explain is the seventeen thousand dollars, you idiot. Okay. Please stop, stop. No, I, I shut up. It's my turn. Okay, now I'll say. Okay, now go ahead. So go ahead. Seventeen thousand dollars. You're you're granted yeah, permission dead, to speak. And then I'll tell you to shut up when I'm ready for you to stop talking. Sure, okay, okay. I I'll do it, ma'am. Okay, speak. So you may speak now. Is go a ahead. Fraudulent charge. $17,000 is a fraudulent charge. It is given by a third party fraudulent criminal company and the name of it is NCB Graphics. Now, it is a Moscow based criminal company. I am very sure you have never heard this name before, right? Now, how did they make this? Because, ma'am, they are actually acting Co on would your you device. Would you cool down? Like you sound like you're just really upset or something or angry. Can you just calm down, please? Take a deep breath, take a yeah, glass obviously. of water, and, and speak nicely and kindly and do your f***ing job. Okay, sure, ma'am. So, I am telling you, ma'am, there is a fraudulent company named NCB Graphics, and this company is trying to charge you $17,000 fraudulently without your permission. And you don't have to worry, ma'am, because we are actually the parents of your money. We know you earn this money, and we know you know the value of this money. So please allow me to save this $17,000 for you, ma'am. I promise you, I won't let you lose even a single penny, ma'am. And really I'll not tell you to any <laughs> suspicious things, like uh, transfer the money into my account, or give this money to any uh, random person, no. Nothing like that. Only you'll be the primary person and you'll be the last person to keep the money and to save the money. Now, ma'am, I want you to please uh, just carry your driver's license with yourself. Okay. And uh, then just get inside your car. I want you to get inside your car with your driver's license. And once you get inside the car, just say, James, I'm in the car. Okay? Are, I mean, are, are you finished yet? You, you are just really on a roll today. Ma'am, I'm sorry because I, I, I want to do it. Uh, hurry up. Why? Because we don't have much time. Why? I, I've got all because the time we in don't the have world. Ma'am, criminals uh, are trying to charge the money within the next 70 minutes, ma'am. So we have to save this $17,000 before that. So we need to hurry up, ma'am. Okay? That's the reason I'm telling you, please take the driver's license and a car charger with you and get in the car and say, James, hello. 
don't start the driving just say james hello i'm already first. driving too there late what do you have to do i'm sorry i'm already driving where i'm driving you told me to get in my car and drive i'm driving no 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 ma'am i want you to get in the car first and then say james hello too late are you in the car i was already talking to you why do i have to say hello james when i'm already speaking to you I'm driving my car. Okay, are you in the car? I walked outside. I'm driving my car? car. Okay, can you blow your horn? Did you hear it? Do it again. Oh my god. Okay, now listen to me carefully. Hold up. Do you Shut have up. Shut up. Shut up. Why are you telling me to honk my horn? I'm sorry? Why are you telling me to honk my horn? Because I was making sure that I'm in the car or not, so that I can give you the further oh, steps. Oh, you didn't trust me. What do you have to? Do? For some reason, you don't trust no. me, James. No. I trust you. I was just making myself sure that we are on the right track. Now you listen to me carefully. No, you listen to Tell me. me if you don't trust me, if you don't trust me, shut up. If you don't trust me, I don't trust you. Do you understand? Ma'am, listen to me. Just tell me one thing. St- listen. Is there any whenever I ask you a question, whenever I ask you a question, you don't just get to say listen to me and ignore my question. Answer the fucking question. Ma'am, I trust you. Okay, that is the reason I'm talking to you. Otherwise, I would have disconnected the call. Yeah, well. I trust you. I should have disconnected this call a long worried, time ago. I was worried. I was worried, ma'am, because uh, we need to do this as fast as possible. So just tell me one thing ma'am is there any branch near uh, to your place of the Bank of America Isn't that uh, where, where you Isn't that where you already uh, told me to shut up when I'm talking to you Uh di- didn't you tell me to go to the branch store already or am I just di- am I dreaming I just want you to go to your branch any nearby branch That's where I was and already driving there, to you idiot That's where I was already driving to my branch You need to wait You need to wait at the parking place. You cannot get inside the branch. Wait at the parking place and say James hello. Once you are at the parking place, you have to stop there and first listen to me, listen my instructions and then get inside the branch. Okay? Yeah, well, this whole thing is a bit peculiar. Can, can you go back to the beginning and and just run it run it by me how this all started and run me through every single step ma'am i have already Shut told up. you they were some from the very beginning because of Emma. you need to tell me how we got from $317 to me withdrawing $17,000 okay. go ahead floor is yours sure so $317 was our transaction given by amazon account now the criminals who are using your amazon account they tried to charge $317 first because they didn't know how much balance you have in your accounts so once they got active on your accounts with the help of your devices and with the help of your amazon account once they got to know that you have so much money in your regular checking account then they tried to charge $17000 automatically as they are active on your devices they pre approved that transaction when the branch asked you the approval of the charge they read that with the help of your cell phone when you were sleeping and once they read that the $17000 transaction it got active and that amount will going to be debit from your check account by next 60 minutes so that's the reason ma'am i was giving you a resolution to save this money we'll simply just withdraw the money and transfer the money into your new check in account once we remove the criminals then we'll put this money back to your existing accounts So that's the reason I was sending it to a local branch. Okay, and once you reach at the branch, you have to wait at the parking place. But why do I I'll have to withdraw seventeen thousand dollars? Because, ma'am, that is the amount which is going to be out of your account by next sixty minutes from the criminals. So we need to save that seventeen thousand first, and once we save the money, then because of insufficient balance, the criminals won't be able to charge the money. As simple as that. So where are you right now? I'm driving. I just don't I, like you you just said all those words and I heard the words that you said 
But it didn't make any sense at all. You just do one all. thing. You trust us, right? Just no, well, you don't trust me. You don't trust fine. me. But you had me verify that I could ma honk my I horn a second you. ago. I was so the answer to I do I trust you? The answer is no. Or not. I do not trust you because trust is earned, and you have not earned my trust yet. Ma'am, tell me what I have to do to earn your trust. Okay, I my first prior priority is to save you money. Okay. And in order to save so the money, I can do working anything. from Bank of America, exactly what services do you provide for the Bank of America? Because from my perspective, I've been talking to you for a while and you haven't been able to protect me from anybody. You should be p putting my account on hold, on high alert. You should not listen. shut up. You shouldn't be allowing any transfers. I already shut told up. You, if I you do shouldn't that. be allowing any transfers out of my account unless I'm in the branch store. Ma'am, so I already go told you. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do I that and shut that, up when you're doing it, please. Then the, lo the local branch officers can take the money, ma'am, if I try to do that. That is the reason I'm taking your use, because only you are the person who can save this money from yourself. So that's the reason I want you to drive to the branch, ma'am. And once you be reach at the branch parking place, just say, James, hello. Don't get inside the branch. First, stay at the parking place and say, James, hello. Okay, I am waiting for you, ma'am. Uh, sir? Sir? Hello, yeah. sir? Yeah. Uh, did you not listen to me this whole time? <laughs> uh, ma'am, are you at the branch? What? Are you at the branch? Oh, I thought you asked if I was French. I'm sorry. I was going to say no, not at all. Uh, let's no, ma'am. I am asking you, are you at the bank? No, branch? I'm driving my... I keep on having okay, to repeat myself. I keep on having to repeat no, myself. No, much, uh, I've already told you I'm driving. To go there? Shut up. Why are you how interrupting me? Stop interrupting me. Ma'am, I'm... You're really pissing I'm me off right now, bank. sir. How much time will it take to go there? Listen, I'm about 20 minutes away uh, when I left, and I've been in the car for about 7 minutes. We're t talking about 10 more minutes. Okay, you'll take 10 more minutes? Yes, and in the meantime, the you place. will tell me a little bit about yourself. I feel like I know one thing about you, and that your name is David or something, right? Isn't that what you said your name was? My name is James Patterson. James and Patterson. And the badge is... I don't care about your badge ID. I, you know all this personal info about me. I'm just trying to get to know the person who's having me drive all over town. Are you new at the Bank of America? Is is, is listen, that is that what the problem listen, is? Shut up. Trust me. Okay. Come on. Now you can say what do you want to say, ma'am? I'm listening to you. Well, you you keep on interrupting me. And, you know, every no, time, this I, time I'll not. you just did it. You just this did time it. I'll not. You just did it twice I'm in a row. You did time. it a third time just now. Go ahead. I'm There's listening. a fourth time. Go ahead. I'm How's a fifth time? <sighs> Listen, I'm just trying. Uh, I'm trying to make conversation. I'm asking how long you've been at the Bank of America. Is it your first day in the job? That that type of thing. No, I'm working for the last seven years. Seven years, and, and you're having this much trouble? I mean, that is unbelievable. Ma'am, actually, uh, these scams have been started uh, last two months only. What scams? So last two months, these criminals are trying to charge the customers uh, fraudulently, and some got scammed, and you got a chance to speak to the bank. That's the reason you got a chance to save the money. Just think about those customers who didn't even got a chance to speak to us, and they, Honestly, uh, I, uh, they got scammed. Well, so you're saying the people who didn't talk to you would get scammed? Oh, No, uh, there is a chance they got scammed by the criminals if they uh, didn't even got a chance to speak to us. But you are lucky lady. You got a chance to speak to us, and uh, we are on the way to save your money. Did I know? Well, uh, I mean, well, I guess on that note, thank you so much for your help. 
obviously, ma'am, it's my job. It's my responsibility. Well, it's, it's, to be you fair, to it's, it's us, not obvious at all. I mean, I, I, on, I, t I thought to myself, James must be about a couple of hours into this job, first day in the job, and I was, I, I was beginning to wonder, where is your boss that's supposed to be training you and all that? No, ma'am, I'm working for the last seven years. And ma'am, you don't have to worry at all, because I won't say uh, to do any fishy things to transfer the money into my account or give this money to any person. No, I won't uh, tell you to do that, ma'am. As simple as that. Oh, so, so you're, you're, you're claiming right now, you're not going to have to, you're not going to have me transfer any money to you in any way? No, no, no. Oh, okay. So, so what's going to happen after, and by the way, I'm getting close. Uh, what, what is going to happen? Ma'am, make sure when you reach at the branch, you have to wait at the parking place first. I'll give you some instructions. You'll follow them, and then you'll get inside the branch. Okay, Miss Harish? Okay. I just parked. Thanks. Now, listen to me carefully. See, just go ahead and uh, walk in right I now or something? Before. Hold on. Let me get um, I'm no, out of my car. I want you to stay in the car. Right now. Well, just give me one yeah. second. No, ma'am, for Walking next... Over. Uh, you need to stay in the car. Don't uh, step so out of the car. So just go and basically the ask car. them for the seventeen thousand dollars. Just say, "Hey, withdraw them." Ma'am, should I you get it in cash? Stay in the car. Or something. I'm sorry. D is, do Do you want it to be in in the cash? I need to withdraw. It. I don't even know if I'm allowed to withdraw that much. Ma'am, listen, listen. First, you need to listen my instructions first. You promise. Oh, you told me that. Uh, you listen to me first, and then you'll get in the branch. So for the next two minutes, please stay quiet. I request you, I beg you. Please stay quiet for the next two minutes. Okay, and let me give you the instructions. Now, as soon as you get inside the branch, as soon as you step inside the branch, you'll keep your cell phone in your pocket. Okay, don't talk to me when you get inside the branch, but don't disconnect the line. Just simply keep your cell phone in your pocket once you get inside the branch. Second thing, you just need to keep a big smile on your face when you get in the branch. Okay, uh, you just have to show yourself as you're a very happiest lady and it's just a regular day for you. It's just a normal day for you. Okay, don't talk to anyone inside the branch unnecessarily. Now, finally, when you are at the teller, finally, when you are at the uh, cashier counter, so the people out there, you'll tell them, that I want to withdraw $17,000 out of my regular checking account in form of cash bills. Now, uh, once they give you the cash bills, you need to take the cash bills, okay, take the receipt, come outside the branch and get inside the car and then talk to me. Now, uh, if in case they ask you, what is the reason why you want to withdraw the money? in form of cash bills just simply tell them that i want to uh, i want to withdraw this money this is for my personal use okay i want to buy a car for myself so this is for my personal use and in case if they tell you that uh, can we give you a cashier's check or something something tell them no i want this money in form of cash bills that's it once you get the cash bills get outside the branch get in the car and say, James, I'm in the car, I've got the money. And make sure, ma'am, in case if they ask you any questions, like are you getting scammed, or are you talking to internal revenue services, or are you talking to social what security administration? What on earth are you talking about? Just simply like, tell them no, take the money, is and get us that branch. On, like, you, you're sounding deranged. I mean, I picked up about 20% of, of, of what you just said because I was trying to comprehend. Uh, yeah, I, I, this doesn't make Do any sense to, repeat to again? me. I, this does not Do make you want me any to repeat sense. Again? Just, just, just so you know, uh, uh, this is very odd and very confusing. Ma'am, do you want me to repeat again? Hello? What? I'm sorry, it wasn't, I did not hear that last bit. Ma'am, do you want me to repeat again all the instructions? Sure, 
Yeah, that uh, that would be wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. But ma'am, promise me for next two minutes you'll be quiet. I'm, I'm and just going to have to listen start to me walking very in. carefully. Uh, I'm just going to start walking on in here. No, don't talk to me. Withdraw the money. Come out at the branch. Get in the car and say James hello. No, don't talk to me. What? Best of all. Don't talk to me and do the job. Take the money, withdraw the money, come out to the uh, branch and get in the car. Best of luck. I'm just uh, walking in the front little area here. Hello, James. Are you, st- are you still me. with me, James? Hold Ma'am, on. Don't talk just to give me, me one do moment the, here. Do the job. Don't talk to oh. me. Sorry, so, sorry, James. Can you re- repeat that? I'm. I didn't quite hear that. Don't talk to me, ma'am. Do the job. Hello, Withdraw dear. the money and come outside the branch. Oh, okay. Oh yes. Hey, Nancy. Oh. I'm... Yes. Okay. Step. Uh, yes. Hello? Yes, sir. Hi. Uh, I would like to withdraw some money from my checking account, please. All right, sure thing. Um, and let's see, let's get you a little withdrawal slip here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem at all. Let's see here. And how's your day going today? Well, it's going wonderful. I was, uh, speaking to, uh, well, several people today, and uh, it's been a heck of a day. I've been having trouble with someone on the telephone, uh, and he's, you know, I think there might be like some type of barrier here but between us in the terms of conversation, but uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I, I do have to be somewhere soon, and uh, he's just kind of annoying me. Well, I get that, you know. Our family members sometimes can get on our nerves. Oh, yes. Anyways, let's see here. Da, da, da. Uh, 17. Okay. And yeah, if, if you wanted to put your account number just right at the top there. Okay. And then, yep, and just the rest of it. Okay. All right. And 17,000. Oh, you know what? We actually have a limit on your account. We can't do the 17, unfortunately. And actually, I, I did want to talk to you about a couple of charges that we saw on your account today. This this one just came in and it's apparently fraudulent. Uh, was that you that made that, that charge? Uh, because, you know, we could... We could let it go through, basically. Oh, actually, I, I, I did not make that charge, and I, I really don't know what's going on with it either, just because the, in the whole, I saw that on my bank account, and I wondered why it was fraudulent or how that all got determined. Well, actually, we're, we're happy to discuss it with you more um, with our fraud team, if, if you wanted to speak to them. Well, uh, I do have to be, I've, I've got to, this guy's still on the phone with me right now. Okay, and is it, is it a, uh, is it your son or something, or? Oh, no, he's just a friend. Okay. Um, and he, he's not the one that's trying to get you this, to get this $17,000 from you, is he? No, 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 he's just a friend. He's annoying, he's very annoying, but he's, he's my good friend. Alrighty, and let's see. I can do I can do the ten thousand today, if that's what you want to do. But I can't do seventeen thousand. You you know we, we could talk to you about changing your plan and raising the limit if that's something that you wanted to do. Oh well, let's let's just do the ten for now, and I guess I'll maybe I could come back tomorrow for the other seven. That works too. Absolutely. Okay. Let me uh, let me. Let's see here. Oh, hold on. I'm, I, 
I'm actually getting a text right now. I'm getting a text. Hold on. Okay. No. No problem. Okay. Oh, he says. Okay. Okay. Yes. The the, the ten thousand is good. And. All right. And let's see. I'll take that. And did you uh, did you did you want this in twenties or hundreds or any of that stuff? Oh, well, you know, let's do it. Let's just do it in uh, in tw in hundreds. Okay, that's fine. Makes it easier for me, right? So, okay, there you go. I'm gonna get this counted out. So, okay, and I guess I'll just give this to you. Just a little bag is fine. Alrighty, no problem. I normally give you an envelope, but that's quite a few hundreds. So here's here's a bag. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, let's see. Da, da, da. I guess that's it. Oh, and did you want a receipt, ma'am? Uh, you know what? I don't need it. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, you can just toss the receipt. I, I, I'll lose it anyway. No problem. I'll toss it right here for you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello? Uh, yes, Miss Harris. Did you got the money? What? Hello? Ma'am, did you got the money? Well, did you not hear? No. Uh, did you uh, get $10,000? Did he give you $10,000? Yes, he gave me. I mean, I just got those texts from you, so obviously you heard the conversation. Uh, yes, actually, uh, I was uh, I mean, able to hear a little bit. Uh, so I think he told you that uh, we are unable to give you that much of cash. But uh, we can uh, give you ten thousand. Yes, 000, he right? uh, he told me there so, was a transfer limit, so uh, it, okay, it could only fine, be uh, no, ten thousand to today. But I could no, theoretically to uh, that's okay, go tomorrow and uh, and get get sure, it then. Sure, sure. Now, ma'am, listen. You have to deposit this money, okay, in your new checking account, and I am giving you the address. Uh, where you'll get that uh, deposit machine, please uh, open your cell phone, open the Google Maps or the Apple Maps. I'm driving. Ma'am, you need to go to this place. That's 1317 North Colorado Street, Lockhart, Texas, 78644. I repeat, 13. One I'm not going to remember that. Seven. I'm driving. I have to give it again. I'm driving. Ma'am, What is the, the matter car. with you? Just take a layover. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just take a layover. Hold, hold up. You're telling just, me... Shut up. You're, you're telling me to go to Lockhart, Texas? Ma'am, just give me a minute, okay? Don't disconnect the line. Sir... I'll just get back. Sir, listen. That is like... That is more than that's probably five hours away from from Dallas. That's probably like Man, five just, hours away. Minute. What are you? Don't disconnect the what call, are you talking about right now? Oh uh, yeah, Miss Harris, I really apologize. I actually gave you the wrong address. Okay, and that's my uh, mistake. Why? And why? I apologize for that how now. could you be making uh, such uh, critical <laughs> mistakes right now? How could you do uh, this? Because actually, the point is. Uh, my brain is only and only uh, wants to save your money. And that's the reason I was just uh, making things very sure that I am on the right page. So that's the reason. Now I want you you're to You're not making things sure. You're, you're, you're making, you're, you're acting okay, erratically. Can you, can you please drive uh, 2821 Live Oak Street, Dallas, Texas? Listen, Seven, five, two, zero, four. I, I, I'm going to have to get out my Rand McNally uh, Atlas here in order to, to get. I, I don't I don't ha I told you I don't have a smartphone. I don't know how to get there. What? I don't. What? You don't have a smartphone. I have a flip phone. 
Why are you acting surprised? Oh my God! L listen, you, 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 uh, you, you definitely have not been listening to me because I've already given you this information in, in in this call several times. You already know I had a flip phone. Okay. So now you're acting all surprised and flabbergasted. So that means okay, you're not listening to me. Case, you are not listening to me, listening, sir, and you're interrupting you me. Stop. Calm down. Hello. Okay, ma'am, you have a flip phone, right? Did you not just listening to me? Or are you just wanting me to repeat yes. everything I'm saying for no reason? No, ma'am, you tell me one thing. How can you reach to this place without I, a cell phone? I, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I have I have a Rand McNally. I have a, I have a map. I have a, a, an atlas. Uh, of the entire United States, okay. and I could look. I could try to locate the address on that. I don't. I honestly, I don't know. Okay. Maybe you could provide me directions. Please try. Maybe Please you could try. provide me directions. Uh, let me right give you now. the address. Yeah, let me give you the address. Well, that's two eight two one. I'm driving. Uh, ma'am, in that case, I want you to please stop the car anywhere, anywhere in the parking, and then you please take this address. Oh, Take goodness. Easy. Sorry. I just... Apologies. Thanks. Oh, dang it. Okay, I'm... I parked. No, ma'am, I am giving you the address. And Hold that on, is two I, I gotta... Two, one. My car is having trouble. Okay, I... Uh, uh, go ahead. That's two, eight, two, one. Life Oak Street Dallas Texas What is this place Seven, by the way? Ma'am, this is the place What where you is get it? That what deposit. is the place? What's it called? Ma'am, it's CBD King Life Oak Street The name of the store is CBD King Now ma'am, I'll tell you uh, This can be uh, like a grocery store or a kind of a departmental store. CBD King? Ma'am, uh, that's CBD King. I'll tell you what is it. So, I can see, Do you know, do you know uh, what, do you, do you, hold up, do, do you know what CBD is? Ma'am, it is a kind of a store. No, like it's not. Store. No, CBD is is a type of oil. I mean, if, if, I mean, if if you type it on your Google machine, you, you'll you'll see that CBD is is a whole. It's a whole thing. It's loosely related to marijuana. So, you, are you asking me to go to like a a, dispen a marijuana dispensary or something? No, 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 no. Just just wait. Let me just uh, find the other place. Well, you just told me I have to go to CBD King. What's the point of that? What do you want me to okay. do at the CBD uh, have, King, sir? I have a new one. I have a new one, ma'am. I have a new one. So, uh, please uh, make a note of it. It's 4040. What's, just tell me the name of the place. Maybe I know it offhand. That's a Valero gas station. Th that's just a gas station. What do you want me to do at the Valero? Ma'am, I want see. Listen to me carefully. Uh, when you reach at the Valero gas station, the next to the gas station, there will be a convenience store, like a grocery store. So your destination is that grocery store. It's not Valero gas station. Valero gas station is just a landmark. It's just a nearby place. Well, so there's like a recognize. there's like a couple of hundred Valeros in the city of Dallas. I bet you they're they're everywhere. I, it's I the most popular the address, gas station I, I, in the whole country. I, I, for all I, I know, address, ma'am. That's four zero four zero, Cedar Springs Road. What? 
I repeat, 4040 space Sadar. E like Charlie, E like Echo, D like Doctor, E like Apple. I know how to spell Cedar. Like Get out of here with that. Cedar Springs Road. What about Dallas, it? Dallas. What, what is the name of the grocery store you want me to go to? Okay. Uh, Ma'am, I want you to please uh, drive to this place first. And as soon as you see the Valero gas station, then next to the Valero gas station, uh, there is a store, a kind of a, a convenience store, a medical aid, a kind of a, you will be able to see that store. Are you talking was, about, uh, looks like are you talking about CBD King? No, 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 well, not that What one. are you, t this what is the name is of a, the place that you want me to go? And stop playing games, I'm getting then, pissed off at you. Okay, okay, ma'am. The name of the place is Medical Aid. Okay, that means once you reach at the Valero gas station, you will be automatically able to see a store by the name of Medical Aid. And that is only the place where I want you to go. Or you'll be able to see any store over there. So once you reach at the Valero, things are going to be very easy for you. Okay, because uh, only one store is available next to Valero station. And you need to go in that station. Oh, I'm sorry, in that store. So uh, let me repeat the address for you. That's 4040 Theater Springs Road, Dallas, Texas, 75219. God darn it. Okay, Medical Aid, you said, or Medical Aid? Yeah. Medical aid. Like the number eight? Yeah. Or ma'am, if you want, I can do one thing. I have uh, got one more place for you. And Sir, this time it is very easy. what am I going to get there? What's the point of me doing this? Okay. Okay, ma'am, uh, tell me one thing. Uh, Irving, Texas. How far is Irving, Texas from your place? Where? Arlington? Irving, 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 Texas. I have, oh, Irving? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Put it okay. in the Google Maps. Uh, don't you, aren't you on the internet right yeah. now? Why can't you just do this stuff for me instead of asking me all these stupid questions? Ma'am, uh, that's 2121 West Russell Road, Irving, Texas. What's there? So if you can What's go the point? This place. What is there and what do I have to get? Uh, Ma'am, here you'll get that machine. Uh, the deposit machine where you'll uh, deposit the money into your new What account. type of machine and is the it? Name, what type of machine? Ma'am, the deposit machine, I told you. No, what is the name of the deposit machine? What is it? Is it Bitcoin? Ma'am, it's just a deposit ATM machine. Is it, a, is it a Bitcoin? No, it's a deposit ATM machine. What type of deposit? Ma'am, cash deposit ATM machine. I can. You're telling me you, you want me to put seventeen thousand dollars in cash into a machine and send it to you, ma'am? You tell me yes or no. You it, don't have God yes or no. Is, is that what I'm supposed to do? Yes or no. Send seventeen thousand dollars in cash to you through a machine. Is that what I have to do, ma'am? That is your chicken account. You are putting it in your account, not in mine. I didn't give you my account details. Why are you being so? I um, mean, what I would say. Just stay calm, ma'am. Tell me one thing. Are you able to go to 2121 Best Fossil Road? Or would you like to go at 4040 Sarah Springs Road? I'm going to 4040. I'm, going to fo I'm almost to 4040, okay? Perfect. So once you see the Valero gas station, you have to say, James, I'm in front of the Valero station. And uh, I see a store next to it. That's the medical aid. So once... Uh, you see that I, I'll be able to uh, understand that yes. Okay, you are I've, the right. Place. The Apollo has landed. I think is what they say, right? The Apollo. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. I see the Valero. I'm gonna have to go to the, the Valero and use the restroom. What happened, ma'am? I said I have to you go to the. To the I have to go to the restroom. What's the matter with you? Okay, ma'am. No, no, no problem. You can do that, but make sure you don't talk to anyone out there. Okay. 
Hold on. I'm on the line with you. I'm, Don't disconnect the call. Here, let me put you on mute. Sure. Hello? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm here. Uh, well, uh, where did you go? Uh, ma'am, you told me that I am using the restroom. No. And I am putting you on no, mute. No, I told you I'm and using the, the restroom. I, was... I, t I told you I'm yeah, using yeah, the restroom. I, I didn't tell you to use the restroom. No, no, no. I am telling you that you said it that you are using the uh, restroom. So that's the reason I, uh, I'll be quiet for a minute. So, okay, ma'am, now listen to me. Okay, uh, so. Did you see the Valero station in front of you? That's I just went to the restroom in there. Okay. Now listen to me carefully. Which store you see next to that? Is there any store that you see? I don't know. I'm, I'm looking. What am I looking for again? Okay, I just want you to look uh, for any store. Tell me the kind name of, of the store. store. Medical aid. Or a kind of medical aid or a kind of a ATMC store 12 something something. What exactly you see in front of you? Tell me the name. I see the, uh, the Dallas Medical Multicare. Next to Valero Station. It's it's uh it is at Eight Medical Parkway. Okay, so next or inside the station, whatever store is uh, there, just get inside the store. Okay, take all the cash bills for yourself and the driver's license for yourself. And once you get in the store, you need to look for. Uh, what is the address DPT again? What's, what's the machine. address? J just to make sure I have the right place. What's the address? Yeah, that's 4040 Cedar Springs Road. This is, I mean, th this is where I'm at here, but uh, I mean, I, I'm literally, I'm across the street from a medical facility. There is a place, as a convenience store called C Store, C -Store 12. Yeah, yeah. Get in, get in that store. Get inside that store. Why? And once you get inside that, store, what do I have to I'm do? Sorry? Why do I have to do this? Ma'am, there you'll get that deposit machine. I told you where you have to deposit the money in your chicken account. God. So get inside that store and take all the cash bills and the driver's license. And when you get inside that store, this is you need to ask any person out there where is the BTC deposit machine? Okay. Oh. The name of the machine is Coin Hub. Oh, that's oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you tried to trick me into doing. You don't remember. What? You must you, you lied to me. You said this is not a Bitcoin. You lied to me. You so lied. When I'm, uh, Shut when up. I said that you lied to me. You lied to me. I asked you, is this a Bitcoin listen, place? Listen. And I drove all the way there Shut up. I drove all the way over here. And on, under the pretense that this was not going to be Bitcoin, and now it is. So, sir, listen you can absolutely Bitcoin forget about it. Bitcoin is used for two reasons. No. Ma'am, listen. Nope. Bitcoin not is going used to for two reasons. Nope. One is for I'm investment. Leaving. I'm leaving other, right now other one with my $17,000. I'm not going to do you it. you are actually saving the money. Sh oh, okay. shut up. That is so stupid. Ma'am, this is the machine which will help you to put the money into your new checking account that is a okay. bitcoin i'm not doing bitcoin you told me it was a bank account not a you bitcoin. Are not doing bitcoin see listen you are to me so dumb. Uh, people do bitcoin to i invest will the not money. do bitcoin but you are i the am money not going to do it to save the nope. money sorry about that not gonna happen sweetheart i'm sorry who is that guy in the background who is that? No one, ma'am. My boss is asking what's the matter, why she isn't doing. What's his name? I told, I told him that uh, she's uh, scared a lot uh, because of that Bitcoin scam. Uh, but I'm telling you again and again, ma'am, uh, we are putting the money into the deposit machine. So you are not buying the Bitcoins. You are just saving the money. I told you people, do bitcoins for two reasons 
one is the investment and the other one is saving the money okay you do one thing if you think that i am uh, trying to take the money sir you do oh, the money first i never said machine, you were, i never said you're if, trying to take the money when did i ever say that not now okay. you're now you're so getting why weird why are you scared a lot man now you're getting why are you scared from i've bitcoin? already told you why i don't do bitcoin i think it's this uh, the mark of the beast of satan of Ma'am, lucifer i am not telling you to do the bitcoin See, it is bitcoin you don't have a proper knowledge it's what literally a bitcoin is for sir use. don't play don't treat me like i'm an idiot You told me it wasn't Bitcoin. Ma'am, it's it's a BTC shut up. It's a BTC deposit machine. So shut up. I'm I've, I'm already driving away. So ma'am, I'm I've already driven away. Ma'am, so figure something else out. You Do you have Ma'am, you are listen, not Do you want me to try to tra- shut Bitcoin? up? Do you want me to send this money somewhere? I can put it I can go FedEx it or something, but I'm not doing the Bitcoin. Please no. just work with me, please. Work with me. Make a compromise. I don't want to do it. You lied to me, and I don't appreciate that, but I'm still will- willing to work with you, but it's not going to be the BTC. I've already drawn a- my line in the sand. So figure something else out. A FedEx, a package with this okay. stuff or is- have me transfer it somehow, but stop dilly-dallying around and lying to me about the Bitcoin. Ma'am, I just uh say once Uh, I'll not say it twice. Okay. Ma'am, a Bitcoin is more safe. I already and drove away. Way. I will not use the Bitcoin. Sorry. Figure it out. Talk to your boss. Just go collect yourself with your boss and figure out a better way to do this. I've already told you I'm not going to do it. You lied to me, sir. Uh then in that case, ma'am, uh the only way that we have left with is that ma'am uh, you can go to a big branch of the bank of america okay and uh, there i'll not give you my account details okay i'll give you my boss my manager's account details okay and you can simply make a wire transfer to his details not to me why because the reason is i am telling you to put that into my boss's account so that you can claim that after if the if uh, you can claim after that that my money is with uh, his boss so that is only the point i am telling you because ma'am see uh, the bitcoin that i'm telling you it's just 2 minutes away within 2 minutes everything will be done no but if you bitcoin. really don't no do the bitcoin, bitcoin. No yeah bitcoin. if you really don't want to do bitcoin ma'am in that case ma'am you can drive to any branch that is a kind of a main branch i would say or a kind of a little uh, big branch where you can go and uh, you have to do a wire transfer did you say that i have to go to a little account. a little big branch i i just mean a uh, kind of a home branch you know what's a home branch a what a home branch uh i've i've never do heard one thing go I've to never any heard branch, of that but don't use the branch that you've just visited before okay go to any branch i don't have any issue but just don't visit to the branch that he just visited to okay. withdraw the money okay that's fine now it's fine okay but now listen to me very carefully okay See, to be very honest if i don't uh, uh, are, if i don't do the same one it's going to be about a 25 minute drive ma'am that's perfectly fine i don't have any questions i don't have any issues i just want that your money should be safe if you are not happy to do bitcoin it's just 5 minutes away and you're denying it then i don't have any choice see that's i'm right. telling you again that's right Within you do minutes, not you have done with bitcoin quiet you do not have any choice leave it at that i'm driving to the other wells i'm sorry the bank of america uh, about 25 maybe 35 minutes away okay but make sure once you reach at the branch you have to wait at the parking place and say james i'm there at the parking place and then i'll give you instructions and then you have to follow them okay okay that sounds okay to me uh and okay and ma'am uh with all your permissions uh can i just disconnect this call for two uh, minutes no no i'd rather keep you on i i, I would like to speak uh, i just i just want to you know listen y- y- you can th- we've been on we've been on the phone for a long time i i, I think that it's And honestly I I think that we got off on the wrong foot 
and I I feel like I may have insulted you or, or maybe hurt your feelings at some point, and I uh, I do apologize. No, for I that. genuinely want to speak to my boss. What? To ask his account details. That's it. Oh well, I mean, you know, we've got about thirty-five minutes, so I will. Uh, I'll just ask you this. Uh, you can drive. How? Okay, uh, you can drive safe. Within two minutes, have I'll you call ever, you back, and have then you we'll ever, get taken uh, Let's see. So, has this ever happened to you? Have you ever been a victim of, of something like this? Is very b peculiar stuff here. I, I, I have to admit. Ma'am, I really want to talk to you, but just allow me two minutes, please, and I'll just call you back. Just two minutes, ma'am. Please, what? I request you. Yeah, Miss Harris. What happened? Well, um, I am on the side of the road right now. Okay, what happened? Well, I ran out of gas. Oh, you ran out of the gas? Uh, now, what will you do? Why did you um, just disappear? Ma'am, uh, I told you that I was talking to my boss. You just disappeared, and I thought it was very rude. And now I'm out of gas, and I'm pissed off. Uh, Ma'am, see, to be very honest, I know uh, it's uh, a tough situation for you, but still I would recommend you, ma'am, if uh, you can uh, do Bitcoin, because uh, that will be uh, more or better for you. Uh, sir, I mean, have you just not been listening to me this whole time? And, I, I listened to and, you, ma'am, no, but I'm you just didn't. requesting If you, you were listening to me, you, then you would shut up about the Bitcoin. It's not gonna happen. Okay, okay, sure. James. Now tell me. Uh, I'm. I'm, I'm how just. You, I'm sorry uh, to. I'm sorry to. Sorry to. Sorry to burst your bubble here. Okay. But it's not gonna happen. And how, now how I'm will pissed you go off. To, uh, the branch. What? How will you go to the branch? How will you go to the branch? Well, I'm waiting on AAA to bring me a, t a tank of gas. Okay. Sure. Uh, in that case, I am on the line with you. Uh, I have some work to do, ma'am. Okay, uh, so if you need any assistance, just call her money. Okay, I'll be silent for some minutes. No, no, you won't be silent. You're going to keep me company while I'm waiting for AAA because you have put me in this mess and you're going to come, you're going to be in it with me. Okay? You can't just have me do all your work for you and then just, just have put me on a hold like I'm some type of animal. Okay? It's very demeaning, it's very rude, and I think that you know that. Why, why, why do you keep disappearing? Uh, I'm sorry for this, ma'am. Stop doing uh, so that. Actually, I've just got an update. Stop doing boss. that, sir. Uh, you got to uh, stop okay, doing sorry, that, I'm sir. L listen to me, listen to me, uh, Ms. Harris. I just got an update from a boss. Okay, and my boss told me uh, that he is unable uh, to just give... Uh, let me just talk to him instead. I mean, it's you're just you're 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 a, you're low on the totem pole. Let me talk now to him. To me very Let me talk to your boss. I know See, he's right behind you. Just give give me the phone to him. Ma'am, the point is, he is not in the cabin. Okay, but uh, I just talked to him on the landline of uh, my. No, he's there in the office with phone. you. You just you told me he was he was no, in the office with you. Yeah, you did. You said your boss ma is in the office. That's what you said earlier. My boss never talks to my boss never talked to me in front of uh, in, in front in person. He always talked to me on uh, phone. No, he, so he was in the office with him. you earlier. He's right behind. I heard you talking to him a half a second ago. Ma'am, he's my colleague. He's my colleague. Well, then okay, he's then you, the you, don't, you don't have a boss then or something or what? I ma'am, listen to me. I have a boss, but he's in meeting. No, he's out is, of town. You keep on okay. making things up, and you, see, uh, you know. He, no, he's out of town, ma'am. Okay. And he told me that uh, at the at the moment he's unable to give any of the details that I've told you. That once you reach at the branch, you'll make a wire transfer to my boss's account, and then he'll put this money back to your accounts once we remove the criminals. But uh, unfortunately, uh, he's unable to give the details in which we need to deposit the money. So I request you, ma'am, I want you to uh, stay in the car. I mean, uh, however, get in the car and you can drive to the home. Okay. And tomorrow, uh, what time I can call you back, Ms. Harris? Can you please tell me? So you're telling me that I just drove, 
I was going to drive like 30 miles away to go to the second bank for you. And I ran no, out of no, gas. No. Shut I want up. To drive to your home. Shut up. And I was driving to the bank for you because you said I would have, I would be able to transfer the money via bank. And now I ran out of gas, and now you're trying to back out of the deal. That's what I see. No. Yes, it is. No, ma'am. Yes. No. Yes. Please. Yes. To be very honest, you are wrong. The you point are lying. Is, you are I awful. Am... You're a bad person. Ma'am, listen. You just leave him. You're saying, no, let me call to you me. tomorrow while I'm stranded on the side of the road. Because, no ma'am, gas. the point is, you don't want to do Bitcoin, right? Obviously, you don't this want to do Bitcoin. This is your fault. No. Don't blame it on me. This is the, your fault. This is your no, fault. No, it's your you, fault. No, I'm it's your fault. It's your you fault. You have $10,000 It is your cash. fault. You can put them in Bitcoin. And you can, can put the, the Bitcoin in your saying. asshole. Okay? You put the okay. Bitcoin up your ass. I'll not talk about that anymore. No, ma'am. Once we remove Bitcoin, then we have only left with one option. Sorry, two options. FedEx and Wire. But I won't choose FedEx because uh, that is what I would say it's uh, difficult. I mean, it's, it's, it's not that easy. I would prefer so we FedEx. I actually own stock in FedEx, and I would like to use FedEx if that's an option. So let's do it. And but let's, and let's do it tonight. That? Let's do it right now. Let's do this. Triple A is almost here. They just texted me. Oh, uh, ma'am, see. This is the point, ma'am. No, 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 no. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, just you said, I, the have, line. You said I have two options, sheet. right? She said I have two options. But, ma'am, the point is... No, uh, stop telling me the FedEx, point. You gave me two options. I want, I want, I want the FedEx option. So but shut up FedEx, about it. You can't do uh, more than 10,000. Well, I only have 10,000, you idiot. I know that, ma'am. But point is, a wire transfer is more easy. Because uh, once you do FedEx... Sir, then sir, sure. hello, hello. I've already taken out $17,000, and that's my transfer limit for the day. I can't do any more transfers from the bank. I got ten thousand dollars, and I, I got a FedEx down the street from my house. But that is the so that's what we're going to use, we can and that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold says so. We can wait for a day. No, okay, we're not going to we wait, wait for, for a day. day. No, we're not. Tomorrow. No, you not can tomorrow. Directly visit your branch. Listen, it's okay. only four p.m. Your 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 day is not over. You're 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 not done yet. You're still at work. I know that. So get to work, is, kiddo. Ma'am, the point is... Get to work. Stop saying the point is. You don't know what the point is. Uh, there are a lot of scams going with FedEx. That's the reason I won't recommend you to do FedEx. You've ma'am. already given me the You're option. A point. F- listen... But ma'am, you, that option is you are not really valid. you're really you're acting insane. Your your plan you has changed. Shut up! You I have changed to, the plan I want so many times. You ran me I out of the. I don't want you to lose the money. Don't interrupt me. You may lose Do the money. Do not interrupt ma'am. me. You're not getting Do the not point. Do not interrupt me. Do I need to run through what you've had me do today? Do I need to remind you what you have done today? I know, ma'am. So, you're not showing any sign of remorse. You don't seem to care that now I'm out of gas on a on a stupid mission that I that I couldn't do anyway. Apparently, I was gonna. I've driven all over the city for you. I got stranded uh, and, and I'm out of gas. You give me another option. I take one, and you say you can't do that either. Do you understand how dumb that because, is, ma'am? The point is, I don't want you to lose the money. The wire transfer was the second most safest way to save the money and the first one was bitcoin you denied bitcoin now second most safest way to save this money that you have in your regular chicken account is only that wire transfer and to be very honest ma'am when you visit to the branch so you trust the branch that's uh, physically available to your place so that tomorrow when uh, you didn't get the money back you can uh, claim the money from the branch itself that's the reason I'm telling you the branch is the most safest way. In FedEx, what happens once you pack the envelope? Okay, once you uh, send that envelope to the FedEx, once you tell them to ship it, what if uh, the receiver won't receive the money? He receives some clothes or some newspapers and books. It happens. It happens usually. 
it happens most times that is only the reason that does ma'am. not happen ha- would- you are just lying through your teeth that does not happen most of the time when you fedex something that is the stupidest bunch of nonsense i've ever heard you're from the bank Give of america second, you are ridiculous you are you're out of control it's insane here comes the tow truck by the way Yes, Miss Harris, you dear? Yes, is this the the guy who keeps ignoring me? No, ma'am. I was not ignoring you. Hey James, uh, guess what, man? Ma'am. Guess what? We have uh, got the details. What? And uh, yes, now we can do the wire transfer. Oh. Yes, congratulations. I've got the details. Now, ma'am, I want you to uh just just uh get in the car as fast as possible. I just got my gas. But place. you're not listening to anything I'm saying right now because you don't care. I know that you're you out of the you gas. You, but he told me that you have called you, AAA. You don't even yeah. uh, care at all about me and I'm just a No, I care. Simply uh, okay, you tell me a means to an end for you. What is the possible way? What? What what is the possible chance that he can get a gas and he can uh, then drive? Got, what is the possible If you chance? had been listening to me, you would understand that the the AAA guy just came and brought me a tank of gas. That's why I pay an annual fee. So I have gas and I'm driving now. But you don't listen. Okay, now you don't you... listen to me. Okay, ma'am, I want you to go to a branch parking place. Once you get to the branch's parking place, then say James hello. This time I want to disconnect the call and you please also don't disconnect the call and let's just stay on the line. Okay? I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to start putting as much effort into this conversation as you and we'll see how uh we'll see how frustrated you get with me, okay? Yes, ma'am. I got it. And one thing, ma'am, uh as today you have $10,000 in cash with you. So today we'll uh, just wire uh, this money, okay? And uh, tomorrow we'll do with the rest of it. Well, I I've been on the phone with you all day. I I I literally broke down right at like 4 okay, no, or 5 minutes from the, the Shut up. I broke down 4 or 5 minutes from the oh, bank. Sir, hello. Come on. And so Please. now Please. I'm at the bank Please. parking lot. Okay. That means uh okay, let me ask you one more thing. Are you at the same branch where you withdrew the money before or this is the different? It's a different this branch. You had me go to a different one. Okay, it's a different one. And take me off a speaker okay, phone. Okay, ma'am. You're uh you're not on the speaker phone, ma'am. I'm on speaker phone and I know I'm on speaker phone and I know that you're lying to me. No. I want you to please write uh, some details of my boss's account. So I don't know where you'll write that but you have to find something. I keep a little notepad to... here next to me all the time. Let me, yeah, let me yeah, yeah. Please out. please now note the de- details that I'm giving you. Okay. Now listen to me very carefully, ma'am. See, uh now you'll get inside the branch, okay? And uh you'll take this notepad to the teller, okay? And when you go at the teller, you have to tell them uh that he is uh my uh you can say he's my nephew or you can say he's uh, my rel- uh, rel- relative okay you can tell them any excuse you can give them any excuse you can even say he's uh, my family friend or anything and uh, then tell them that i want to make a wire transfer uh, of $10,000 Uh, on these details and i want uh, you to fill these details okay, on a form okay sounds good i'll talk to you later okay no ma'am one more hello 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 yes miss harris she dear yes yeah what happened you made that uh, transfer uh yes yes i did and uh, where is the receipt oh i did not uh i did not keep it i typically tell uh, them to keep the receipt because i've al- i always lose it anywho so uh that anyway. means you didn't take the receipt uh, from the uh, receiver what's that you didn't take the receipt from the bank 
Oh, did, I'm sorry. Did you not listen me to uh, listen to me a second ago when I just told you what happened? I just I don't ever save the receipt. Okay, so who stay with you? Are you live alone? Hello. Yes, hello. Do you live alone? Yes, I live here in my apartment, but my uh, hus okay. husband passed away just a couple of days ago. So, when can I call you back uh, tomorrow? At what time? Oh, you can call me back any time tomorrow, really. You could call me back at 10.30ish or, or 11 or so. Okay, uh, my sadness, uh, let me confirm one last time. Are you damn sure you made that transfer? What? Are you sure you made the transfer at I, the bank? I went in and I uh, showed them the information and I, I showed them the piece of paper I wrote it down mm -hmm. on. And they said they'll take mm -hmm. care of it. So did they, uh, they did the transfer or not? Yes. That's what I'm asking. And they didn't give you anything? Uh, well, they said, would you like a receipt? And I said, no, thank you. Oh, is the branch open now? No, it's after 5. The branch closes at 5. You should know that. Aren't you the Bank of America? Okay, yes or no? So... Okay, listen to me. Uh... <clears throat> listen, don't take an attitude with uh... me, okay? Don't take an attitude with me. You have put me through hell today. Hello? Uh, Miss Harris, uh, good morning. How are you? Who is this? Uh, Ma'am, this is James Patterson. Do you remember? Mm, no. From Bank of America. What? You made a wire transfer of $10,000. Remember, I'll send oh, you on that you're, branch. You are, yes, you, oh, the, the most annoying person I've ever met. Yes, how are you doing, James? Yes, I'm fine, Miss Harris. Uh, tell me one thing. Uh, the wire that you made on that day for $10,000, what happened? Did you don't sound through, like James. You sound like somebody else. You sound like somebody else altogether. Ma'am, the money uh, came back or it went through. What happened? What? The money, the wire that you made on that day, so did $10,000 went through or it came back? I've already answered That's this question. Asking. Did you not listen to me last time, James? No. Come again? Oh, you didn't listen to me? Then why, do I, why would I expect you to listen to me this time? Because, ma'am, that was three days back, you know? It's, it's a long time. Now you tell me, did that wire went through or not? You, this what is not even back. James Patterson. What's the secret code if you're James Patterson? I just know my batch employment ID number. That's DOA seven 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 one zero. That's not that's not the badge ID number you gave me. So you need to buzz off. I don't know who you are. I was told by the real James Patterson to deny calls unless they had the real mm -hmm. secret code. Ma'am, I was talking to you from last three days. I am the same person. I sent you James, first time to James, the branch to James, withdraw calm 10, 000, down. What, and then what you do I need? Went to the what Bitcoin do you machine. need from me, James? What do you need? I just want to know, did that wire went through out of your account or did it came back? Came What's back. What's the status? It came, back. came back to what? What are you talking about? Okay. 
Look, it, can you just look, open your desktop? Yes, it's open. I'm I'm here right now. Okay, can you just can you just open any desk on your desktop? <sighs> Remember, you have downloaded the any desk app. Uh, yes. <clears throat> I want me. you to open that app and give me those nine digits again. Okay. I'm I'm doing that right now. Sure. It says your address. Give me those nine digits. Are you are you all right, James? You sound like you're stressed out or something. No. I am all right. I just need the nine numbers. Okay, James, uh, and I, I don't know if I need to remind you, 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 you were being very rude to me and you weren't listening to me last time. Ma'am, I didn't even remember what we talked on the last time. That's the reason I was just confirming the status of the transfer. Please help me with the 90th ID, ma'am, your address on the NDS cap. Okay. You need to open your desktop and you it's need to open. double click on that. Quiet. Okay. It's open. Mm hmm. Six seven four. Zero seven five. Three six one. Three six one. Okay, I am sending you a request on your any desk. Uh, just accept all the terms and just allow and then click on accept. Are you receiving those warnings? No. Oh, yes, I am. I see it now. No, yeah. Click on accept. Uh, click all the terms of privacy and service. And then just uh, click on accept. Okay, I clicked accept. Now it says, excuse me, it says Amazon Secure Server. Yes, just click on start now or accept again. Okay, it says allow. Yeah, click on allow. And start. Yeah, click on start. Okay, it says waiting on any desk confirmation. Okay, now uh, I want you to, okay, are we connected now? Uh, yes. Okay, now yes. I want you to open your online banking. And once it's open, just let me know. Hello? Hello? Yes, I want you to open your banking, online banking. Okay. Just open the bank and then log in. Hold on, I gotta get my password. Oh, you forgot? What? Nothing, nothing. Just get it. Are you are you all right? Yes, I am all right. It just seems like something is just wrong with you right now, or something. No, everything's everything's fine. Just uh, enter your ID and password. Okay, let's see here. Uh, got my notes. Okay. <laughs> Right. Okay, let me get my password here. I think we could disconnect it, ma'am. Open that in any desk app again. Let me just try to connect to you again. Open the any desk app. What? Open the any desk app on your desktop again, ma'am. We get disconnected. Oh.
Okay, S sorry, but I, I, well, it, it's not, it didn't even, it didn't get disconnected. That's okay, ma'am. What, what? It's okay, ma'am. I want you to open the any days cap again, and let, let's just reconnect. Okay. I'm, I, it's open. Yeah. Okay, now you see the 9 digit address again. Now it's, you need to click on a, all the... It's the same exit. number. Yeah. Yeah, just accept and allow all those things again. Well, I don't... Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. And just press accept again. Yes, that's right. That's perfect. And uh, just open the Google again. Do what? Open, open the bank. I've and already I'm done this. It was just logged in. You told me to close it. No, I didn't told you to close it, ma'am. Okay, open, op open it again. Uh, Miss Harris, click on send code. Yes, James. I, I'm really gonna need you to to just. Can you explain to me what you're so upset about, please? I want you to click on send code, ma'am. That's blue in the color. Click on send code. What? Click on send code. Okay, but but what's the end game? What's what's the end goal here? Ma'am, can you please click on send code? Yes, yes. Do you remember you made a wire transfer on that day? Did it went through you? or the money came back. Well, aren't you able to tell me this? What? I said you should be able to tell me this. You're from the Bank of America. Am I right or am I wrong, James? Ma'am, the point is, I can see that the money is uh, out of your account, I believe. It says, look, now it you says... you tell me. Look, what, you're not able to use your eyes? It says branch store withdrawal, negative $10,000. That means you made a withdrawal, right? Yes, I did. And then where that money goes? Where is that money? I uh, I transferred it. To whom? Let's see. Oh, th there it is. What? It's the tenure. Uh, James, how do I say this? What? This name, you idiot. Look at the look at your fucking screen. God, you're dumb. This is in the activities of Zell. But when we check the activities of your regular chicken account, it says it went through. Do you not remember? Do you No, no. You, you, you're all you're all discombobulated. This is Listen, I went to my bank. I gave them the piece of paper with all the info on it. They must have used my Zelly. And over on this screen, no. yes, 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 that is what happened. What is so hard to no, understand? The money is what is so hard account. to understand about this? See, per, how much money did, did you have previously? Oh, my God, James, you are just Before the so transfer. stupid. Look, look, I withdrew the $10,000. I went to the bank. I gave them the piece of paper. They used my zelly to transfer it, but they got marked as fraudulent. So, 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 so what right now? This is on hold. Now this is on hold. Where is the money? Where is the now money? Now this is on hold, you idiot. What? Where is the $10,000? It's on hold. They're investigating it. This is what the, the branch store called me with okay. yesterday. Listen to me carefully. You are so dumb, James. Okay. So, I want you to just... Carry your driver's license with yourself, okay, and uh, just take your cell phone with yourself and the IB and just sit in the car and uh, just start driving towards the branch. And once you get at the branch at the parking place, just say hello. I'll be speaking to you the entire way. The whole way there, okay. I'll be speaking no to you, okay? And, no problem. And what is your name I'll again, please? My name is James Smith Harris. Please get in the car, go to the branch, and then wait there listen, and say, James, hello. Listen, James, you have a big attitude problem. 
No, I don't. Yes, you do, James. I just want you to get in the car and then drive to the branch. And once you drive to the branch, then you have to say, James, I'm at the branch. And there I'll give you instructions. And you need to follow them. That's it. You have been very rude. Why do you think I should work with you? Ma'am, I am sorry for that. No, you're But not. You're just getting... saying that so you can get what you want. Isn't that right, James? Please just get in the car. You really are maybe one of the worst people I've ever spoken to in my whole life. You like honestly, typically there are some type of redeeming quality where I say if this person wasn't doing this, he might be a good person, but you know, you're awful. You're a truly bad person. It's over. It's okay, over for I, you, James. I apologize. Now, can you get in the car? James, it's over for you. Can you get in the car? What's that? Can you get inside the car with the driver's license? Well, of course I can. Sure. Let me Please put you on in. hold. I got to I got to put some things on here. Okay. Hello? Yes, Harris. Are you in the car? Um, I'm just getting some things together here, yes. Okay. Make sure that you do take a pen and a paper. Okay. Just take a pen and a notepad with you. Because there, I want you to write something in the car before you step inside the branch. So make sure you get all these things and get in the car. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm heading to I am uh heading over to the car now. Thanks. And what are you doing this whole time? Because I feel, you know, again, I, I've, I've been doing all your work for you here, haven't I? So, so what do you get to do whenever I'm doing all your work? Do you get to just sit over there and just, uh, just screw off or something? Or what is it that, Nothing, you, what I, is it, what is it that you're doing right now, sir? Nothing. I'm just talking to you. Oh, so you you just because get when I talk to you, you don't let me do anything because you want me to talk to you all the time, right? So I can't do anything when I'm talking to you. Are you in the car? Yes, I am. But honestly, you're you're kind of boring me, James. You're you're kind of boring, James. No, I'm just doing my work. Please let me do my work. You're not doing any Please work. You're me. sitting there the waiting car. for me to do my work, you idiot. Isn't that right, James? Isn't that right, James? Well, I'm just doing my work. I don't think you are, James. I think that your computer might have had a little, a terrible tumble a second ago, didn't it? What happened to your computer, James? James's computer never popped back in on my connections list here, but I'm still surveilling his co-scammer's computers to this day. Hope you enjoyed it.